What's up guys, Quinkin here and welcome to episode 13 of my Manchester United career mode. Thank you for the feedback last episode. Uh, I want to thank all you who commented, liked the video, it means so much to me and I appreciate it. But uh, we're already in the month of November and this month's schedule looks very hard. You know, we're coming up against Sociedad in the Champions League, Arsenal... Uh, we're coming up against Napoli and the Spurs. Things are looking very hard this month. And I decided to do a squad report. Um, Johnny Evans went up uh, by one, uh, one point. And that's looking very good. Evra went down by one. Uh, since he's getting old, uh, his, his overall is going down. Uh, and from, from now and uh, until the future, he's going to be going down because of his age. Paul Pugba having a great season uh, going up by one point. I would want him to, you know, at least go go up by two points because he's having a spectacular season. Uh, Nani's having a spectacular season. He has one goal, two assists. Uh, you know, he's being very crucial to our team, and he went up by two points. Ryan Van Persie did not go up by anything. But look at this man, Cristiano Ronaldo, 14 appearances, nine goals, one assist. This man is looking very well. He's carrying our team, and he went up by one overall, and so did Phil Jones. He's having a decent season because uh, of injuries. Uh, he decided to, decided to put him in for uh, Rafael, and here we go. Pato went up by one overall. Uh, he's starting to look like a very, very good player, and I'm, I'm happy as hell we brought him uh, from Corinthians. But here we got Anderson did not go up by anything. I don't know why I, I play these guys, and uh, you know they're they're not doing they're not doing well. Uh, Ashley Young, I barely play him, and he went up by one overall. I really don't understand this, but uh, this is FIFA, and this is how it is. Real Ferdinand went down by two. Jesus, I need a new center back. Ananya Nuzai went up by two. He's looking very good. Barely 19. He's looking like a good prospect. So is Michael Keane went up by two, and I barely play these young players, and they're going up in overall. Uh, I'm I'm thinking of putting them up, putting them in uh, the the lo on loan to other teams so they could grow faster. Cause look at this Wilfred Zaha going up by two. I barely play him, only seven appearances, but he has one goal. Uh, all these other young players that have low overalls, I barely play them. Uh, I'm deciding to put them on loan uh, for the next transfer window. Uh, Tom Clever with an injury went up by one overall and uh, I'm so sad he got that injury. Uh, he he would have been a great asset to our team. So would have Raphael. And uh, I'm thinking of buying a new center midfielder because Carrick, uh, as you guys are going to see, he's gonna, going down in overall. And uh, I, I'm going to need a new right back because Raphael is going to be uh, out for three months. So uh, that's what I'm deciding to do. I don't know which players I'm going to get yet. Uh, I'll decide when the transfer window comes up, uh, but uh, Makeda, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go up. He had, he's having a very good season, and uh, look at Carrick, he went down by one overall. But yeah, this is basically the um, the, the the match report, the squad report. Uh, you know, I only put people that actually uh, grew or or decayed in their rate. And uh, if they didn't, I just didn't put them. Uh, I didn't put the people that were on loan. Uh, we'll check them out at the end uh, when they come back from their loan. But we go into this game and we're facing Real Sociedad. If, if we win, we can be in first place. We have to win. Uh, we have to get in front of Napoli. They're having a very good, uh, a very good season in Champions League uh, this year. Um, you know, and Ronaldo was a very good, good player today. Uh, he was he was all over the pitch. He was threatening Real Sociedad's defense. He was trying to get in there, score some goals. But Real Sociedad was the first one to attack with this corner kick, and uh, nothing much from the Real Sociedad side. We were playing very well. We were much better. Although they had more possession, uh, our attacks were deadly. Look at this, Ronaldo using the pace. Does he do it? He shoots, and yes, Ronaldo makes the second goal of uh, is of this season in Champions League and he's calming down the old Trafford Stadium the theater of dreams and hopefully we bring the Champions League back to England back to Manchester and look at that beautiful pass Ronaldo controls and he shoots it puts it in back of the net he buries it back there a very nice tidy shot nothing uh, the goalie could have done so we're up 1-0 
Ronaldo scores a goal. He gets back on the marker and uh, things are looking well. Although Real Sociedad uh, did have more possession, my attacks were deadly. They were threatening them. And look at this Anderson game pass. Three defenders. He centers it in. Pogba with the header to Ronaldo and Ronaldo with another goal. Although with that look kind of cheesy, uh, like I say, a goal is a goal. He's calming down the stadium again. He's telling telling us that he he is there he's the one that makes the goals and he's the one that's gonna be carrying this team although I don't want that to happen because we have very good players but if that would if that's what Ronaldo wants to do you know I'll let him uh, he's been scoring lots of goals as you guys saw he has nine already but including these two goals he has 11 in 15 matches which is pretty pretty uh, nice not not close to what he does in real life but you know it, it's at least it comes close to that uh, but we go to halftime winning 2-0 two goals from Rocket Ronaldo CR7 the Portuguese man himself and uh, you guys are going to see a goal that Rooney makes in this game it comes late later in the second half but you know a goal is a goal and Rooney made a beautiful goal you guys are going to see that but here we go Vela he centers it in he shoots it oh my god how did he miss that oh my god I thought that was going to go in I don't know how Graysman missed that he was right in front and it is still 2-0 in the 50th minute and here we go with Van Persie he leaves it for Ronaldo Ronaldo sees Van Persie he makes the run is he gonna score is he gonna get off the slump no he's not Van Persie is still on the slump and things are still looking bad with him uh, every game I put him in uh, he does not show any results uh, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking more of of getting rid of, getting rid of him uh, trading him or selling him to get more money because uh, I don't know if you guys know since we bought all those players in the the first transfer window we did go kind of low in money but uh, hopefully we get we're gonna check out the money and hopefully we have a good amount of it and if we don't we're gonna have to sell some players we're gonna have to change our our squad and um, you know look at this chance they had at Real Sociedad uh, it's funny because in this game we started off with less possession but with more chances uh, and Real Sociedad in the second half they had less possession but more chances but this is a goal I was talking about Wayne Rooney the bad boy makes a beautiful goal from uh, over 30 yards out and he just smashes it smashes it in it dips and it, it does an early bounce and it goes in nothing the goalie could have done uh, I'm sad Bravo could not uh, save that but a beautiful shot and we were winning 3-0 uh, I'm so happy we played very well today uh, we needed three points uh, and that's what we got. We won the game 3-0, a beautiful goal from Rooney. Everyone played very well, and I'm so happy that my team is functioning. We're doing it very well, and, uh, you know, we win the game 3-0. We get three points we really needed, and uh, hopefully we're in front of Napoli now because they're having a very spectacular season. They have a good team, and uh, hopefully when we face them uh, in, uh, in, like, three weeks, we can beat them and take the lead for sure because... Uh, that does matter in the Champions League. Uh, first or second place determines which team you face. And if you're in second place, you're going to be facing the first team of another uh, group. But here we go. We have good news. Uh, Michael Carrick is back from injury, but he still needs some weeks off. And uh, uh, it's a very good thing to see him back. He's still injured, as you guys can see. But uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, this is the end of the episode. Every time I do a squad report, I'm only going to show... Uh, one episode but look at us in the table things are uh, as I I'm gonna sim it right now and you guys are gonna see that uh, me us and Liverpool are tied in first place for 24 points uh, but it, the goal difference is separating us we have a better goal difference and Liverpool is right behind us we need to win this game versus Arsenal and that's the next game see you guys next time that's for the next episode and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next time yeah.